Welcome back to a new vlog. It is Monday. We are at the desk. Ignore these very dead flowers <laughs> in front of us. I have to get rid of them, but it's just Monday. Kiln's here. It's about half nine. So usually on Monday mornings, Kiln gets here at nine and we kind of just spend the first half an hour like planning our week really. Like we look at the calendar, see what we have going on, see if we need to schedule anything else in there. Then we talk about content. So at the moment we're doing two blog posts a week. So we talk about which ones are gonna go live and then Kellen helps me work on them. We also talk about videos. Um, so like what Wednesday's kind of sit down video is gonna be like, do we have a film? Does it have to be edited? Do we have to do cutaways? And then we just kind of make plans for everything. And then of course, Instagram as well. And like whatever campaigns we have going on. And then after we have all that done, that first half an hour, then we can really like plan out today and then the rest of the week. So today we're gonna kind of use as like our shooting day. So I'm basically gonna film Wednesday's video today. I'm gonna shoot a campaign for Ann Taylor. Then we're gonna do a get ready with retro. Um, I do that over my Instagram sometimes. So we're gonna film one of them this morning and then I'll shoot that look, like what I'm actually wearing today. Right now I'm just in <laughs> my cashmere. Um, set that I actually love so much. It's from, I think a brand called White and Warren. I think they're New York based, but I love it. It's like lasted really well. So I literally wear that every morning when I'm just kind of getting myself organized. And I did my hair and makeup this morning, got up at my usual six o'clock. So I'm pretty ready now for the day and to kind of get stuck into all this stuff. And yeah, kind of a boring <laughs> Monday morning update, but you did ask me to kind of see like what actually goes on behind the scenes and you know, what how we actually work and plan. And of course I show all the fun stuff too, like the events we go to and nice stuff. But of course behind the scenes, there is a lot of this and planning and shooting and all that stuff. So that's kind of an update. And then this evening, surprise, surprise, we're going to Rumble. Are you excited, Kim? No. <laughs> well, I come not grab my own. The guy we're going to is very hard, so I'm a little nervous because I haven't done it now since Thursday. Yeah, we but found um, we found this guy in New York. Like we go to the Tribeca studio, and there's a guy there called Mo. And I'm pretty sure he probably trains in other studios as well around the city. Yeah, so if I you live in New York, him. try and go to him. I mean, expect a hard class. He's definitely the toughest mm -hmm. we've had, and like but the most. I'm more kind of bored to it at the same time. Yeah, like my whole thing is like if I'm gonna go to the effort of going to a class and spending an hour there and like a half an hour back and forth, like yeah. I want to make sure it's actually worthwhile. So that's why I like him. It's good on a Monday just to like to kick off the week, you know. Yeah. There is parts of it that are enjoyable. Yeah, definitely. So that's later at half seven. So we have lots to do before then. So I'm gonna put away the camera for a while. <laughs> gonna get working and I'll check in soon. Also, I won't show you today, but I plan out my day. Like as in I have my day plan, but there's some stuff, random stuff in there. So this is just like an empty template of how I do my day. So this one starts at eight, but I just kind of do my own thing six to seven. So you can do every single hour. And I find this so helpful. I think especially if you work for yourself because it can be a little bit tricky to keep yourself accountable and make sure you get everything done. So I love planners like this. And this is just like a random one my dad gave me. I think one of his friends gave it to him. It's like a company kind of one, but you can get these everywhere. Making you suffer. No pain, no gain, people. Okay, we're back in the apartment and unfortunately that did not work. It was just too dull. Like today, it's not freezing, freezing, but like it's just very gray. And I think for that look, I need like a bit of light, a bit of sunshine. And I just, when it's for a campaign and for like a brand that like I work with a lot, which obviously is Ann Taylor, I just wanna make sure I'm doing a good job. So I'm gonna write to them and just see if I can reshoot again tomorrow. Cause I wanna make sure it's perfect. And I know I could probably you know, do it half, but that's just not me. <laughs> so we're gonna reshoot tomorrow. Um, I have an event anyway in the morning, like first thing in Soho, so I'll be able to like shoot while we're there. So it might even make more sense, because today, not fun for shooting. I have shivers going through me, like see, it's just really gray. 
and gloomy and it's a spring look so I want it to look like kind of springy so postponing that until tomorrow but next up now I'm gonna actually get dressed into my outfit for the day and do my get ready with me for my Instagram stories and then go up to Zara so I'll show you what I'm wearing when I've that okay done. ready for the day um this is today's outfit so I show this on my Instagram and it probably will already be on there by the time this goes live but just to show you here too it's my black blazer this is from a brand called Judith and Charles I love it I got this last year and I've literally worn it I'd say every single week then I just have a Marks and Spencer's t-shirt my Soma London necklace um, these jeans, I actually don't know where they're from. They could be River Island, I think. And then my Dior shoes. Now I'm gonna head up to Zara, just in my neighborhood where I live, film that video. I think I'm actually gonna just like film some of it in the shop and then I'm gonna come home and do the try on here because sometimes in the shop, in the fitting rooms, like the light's not great and you can't really see things properly. So I'm gonna go and like do the part I have to do there now see what they have I'm excited to see some new in stuff because after my wardrobe clear out I've definitely there's a few gaps like I need a few bits that I didn't really have um so yeah I'm gonna go there now okay, a few hours later and it is time to go to rumble I have my Aloe Yoga sports bra. I love this brand actually. Um, Michi or Michi, M-I-C-H-I, New York pants. I've had these for years. They're literally the best quality ever. And then just my usual night runners. I'm gonna go now, get this over with, and then come back and make dinner. Well, let's just take a minute for how red we are. <laughs> that was the hardest one yet. We kind of say that every time. My jacket every time as well. That Mo fella, I know I've talked about him before, he, he is pace, like, honestly. so tough. I'm dead like. I felt like I was gonna puke though. Yeah, I kind of feel like I'm gonna puke now. I need to go home and eat something. Okay, what is for dinner tonight? We have to keep setting the fire alarm off. It's really annoying because the fire alarm is just here. So like, even if we're not even cooking that much. Like how many times can off already? Five times? Five, six. <laughs> six. <laughs> we're just having some quinoa, veg, chicken. And we have some veggie burgers on too. and stuff like that so we're just checking it out and then we just shot we reshot the Ann Taylor thing this morning so we got that done turned out really good um, so I'm gonna go home now edit them I have a video to edit and yeah this is a nice start to the day we're back home it's a few hours later I've just been sitting down for the last two hours editing my video hence why my eyes look a little bit tired Ken's like rushing me because we have to shoot one thing um before i go to my class later my usual rumble class but i just got the zara video all edited so that's all ready to go i caught up on my emails i edited the Anna Taylor photos yeah got a lot done um kind of a boring afternoon this week so far has been a lot of computer work but Every week's different around here. Um, and yeah, we're gonna shoot some pictures now. Kel has it ready for me. So yeah, I'll check in after that. This is what I have to deal with, literally like. Go 
Good morning everyone. It is now Thursday. I didn't actually vlog yesterday because it ended up being such a crazy busy one. Um, it was basically like a full day meetings and as much as I was kind of out and about, I was just going from meeting to meeting so there wasn't really much of a chance to show you anything but it was really good. I met with Kiehl's, I met with two really big PR agencies here in the city, I went to an event with Bed Bath & Beyond. It was like one of those productive kind of out and about days but I didn't get to film anything unfortunately but it's a new day and this day is going to actually be the last day of this vlog because I'm going on a trip this weekend which I'm going to talk to you about now which kind of explains why there's stuff everywhere <laughs> right now but before that I just need to head out for a couple of hours first so I'll quickly show you my outfit this is the packing situation but I'm wearing the new Zara coat that I got I absolutely love it and I was going to do an all black but then I really liked the camel with it like this is my cashmere camel uh jumper from Marks and Spencer's and then I just popped on these camel trousers and my Celine boots so I'm going to head out now gonna try and get a picture of this on the way it looks really cold today like it's sunny but it's freezing so hopefully I'll get a shot quickly <laughs> and then I will catch up with you when I get back then because I need to tell you where we're going this weekend and I'll show you what I'm packing and stuff but now first gotta go another freezing freezing cold day Back home, back to the craziness that is my packing situation. So where are we off to? We are going skiing this weekend. We're going to Vermont for the first time. So we've kind of gone skiing, I think almost like every year since I moved here. I've been here like five years now and I'm pretty sure we've gone like every January. But we usually just go to like Hunter Mountain, which is about like two three hours away from here in a car but this time we figured we would <laughs> make a bit more of a trip out of it and we're going to vermont which you can actually fly to but we've decided to drive so we're leaving at i think half four tomorrow which is going to be so early but the boys are very eager to get like a full day of skiing tomorrow so we figured we'd leave at half four we should be there for about like half nine ten then we'll have like the full day skiing there's 11 of us all together it's a fun group going and we have an airbnb very close to where we ski so i think it's going to be a pretty chill weekend so i'm actually not packing like i don't need that many things but you know ski gear is kind of bulky but i do want to show you some things i got because i actually i'm so happy with my finds because they were so last minute but thankfully they just seem to kind of work and i do have one package that just arrived that I'll unbox with you. It's from Netaporte. Just ordered this in bed last night and it arrived here at like two o'clock today which is the best service ever. So I'll pop my camera up and I'll just like show you some of the bits I got or else I'll just turn around. Okay. First up is my ski suit. Tommy started laughing when I showed him this but I just told him he doesn't get it. Um, <laughs> so these are obviously kind of like all the style right now. These like one piece um, like ski suits i feel like it's very kind of 90s model-esque like cindy crawford you know on the slopes but i found this in the michael michael kors sale online during the week and i ordered it and i was able to like pick it up in the store and i think it was down from like 200 to i think i got it for like 117 or 115 something like that and it fits like a glove i got the extra small I'm usually like a six to eight and it fits perfectly. It's really nice quality. Like this is something I'll have now, like every year I go skiing. Cause I never really had a proper suit. I would just wear like a top and random leggings. But now at least I have the suit and then I'll be like the jacket over that and ski pants. So yeah, I really like it. I can't wait to wear it. And then for ski pants, I just ordered these ones on Amazon. And again, they just arrived today. Like I knew I was going on this trip for about two weeks. And of course I left it till this week to get everything but i just found these and they were like a best seller it said like an amazon favorite and i think they were about 25 dollars which is very good leave a link like for this and also for the ski suit down below in case any of you are going skiing because it is a bit of a 
it's a bit of a trouble trying to find things i don't know like they're either really expensive to things um and if you only go like once a year like me you don't want to pay a fortune but i do recommend these and i'll let you know in the next vlog how they are and then what is in the Medicport a bag okay this was a tiny tiny bit of a splurge so i'm going to try it on and make sure that like it's perfect before i bring it with me because i just ordered it online um but it's basically it's from this brand that i've been absolutely loving and like seeing everywhere like they're i think they're mainly ski but they maybe they have like sports gear and stuff but i just thought it was really nice like obviously it says ski it feels so soft in person oh my god okay i understand why this is a bit more pricey like the quality is amazing and like i just love these colors obviously i'm a big black and white person and this kind of brings a little bit of something to it it's a polo neck so i could wear this Maybe on Saturday, like wear the Michael Kors suit Friday and I might wear this then Saturday with the pan skiing. Um, or just even like during the day, like for apres ski and stuff, it could be really cool. So yeah, I'll let you know if I end up keeping this, but I'll bring it with me anyway or I'll try it on now and I'll see if I can make it work. And yeah, love it. Other than that, I have my snow boots. These are the ones I have. I got these last year and I actually really like them for snow boots because honestly, a lot of the snow boots can be so ugly and just too much. So these are acceptable in my eyes. Um, these are from Sorel and I'm pretty sure they do these every season or like some sort of version. So if you are living in a cold place or you're going skiing and you're looking for a pair, I'll link these down below too. And then that's kind of everything packing wise then i'm gonna just bring like some casual clothes for like friday night and saturday night and we're actually gonna be leaving i think pretty early sunday morning to come back to new york because it's super bowl sunday <laughs> and tommy and probably david too they're very eager to be back in time for the game are you gonna watch you kevin <laughs> me and Kevin are literally like why but we, but we might try and delay them a little bit like we're not going to go skiing Sunday we're just going to ski on Friday and Saturday maybe just one day me and Kevin because we're not we're not very good um we will be back pretty early Sunday so I'm not going to bring too much with me I'll, I'll just show you what I'm thinking and this actually just came as well from Marks and Spencer's I'm doing a collaboration with them soon just for other clothes but I ordered this as well when I was getting the order. I think it's really nice, isn't it? Like, I'm not majorly a hoodie person. I know it's very, like, on trend right now, but some of them just, they're not my style. But I did like the look of this one because it's its kind of like a knit wear hoodie, which I think is more me. So I got this in a size small. Does it say the price on this one? I don't think it does. I think this was around 30, 30 euro, maybe, or something like that, maybe 40. But the quality does feel really nice. And honestly, my Marks and Spencer stuff last forever. They're brilliant. So I just basically have to put all that into my case. Um, and we're ready to go. Are you excited, Kel? Oh, no. Kel loves skiing. I'm very stressed because I haven't packed yet. I mean, gonna we're to gonna finish up work, like hopefully a bit earlier. I'm gonna try and do another rumble class because guys, guess what? It's my last one. I've been doing the challenge, so 12 classes in four weeks, and you have to do it between January 6th and February 2nd, but because we're away all weekend, like today is the last day I can do like my last class, so this is class number 12, and then I did the challenge, and you actually get like, I think, free gym gear as like a prize if you do it. So I wonder will I get that this evening, or maybe like have to go on a different day, but I'm gonna do that this evening kind of early so I can get to bed early. So hopefully now we'll finish up pretty soon and get ourselves sorted. I'm getting excited now. It's just five o'clock now and my rumble class is at half five, so I'm gonna head straight over there. But first, I did actually wanna quickly chat to you just before I finish the video, kind of about like my healthiness in January and in particular bloating. Seeing as this video will go live on February 1st and I just really have made a huge effort to kind of be healthier in January, I did want to just talk to you about bloating because bloating last year was something, honestly, it would happen to me every single week. Like, I couldn't figure out what was wrong. Um, I used to always kind of blame America. Like, basically, I would just say to myself, it's because I'm living here and I don't really know what's in stuff. And this year and all throughout the last month now and i wanted to just pop it into this video because i i do think i did some things that made such a huge difference and obviously i've been working out so i've been seeing a little bit of a 
difference in the shape of my stomach and you know you can see that but I think definitely the bloating going down has made a huge difference so I'm going to just share a few things I've been doing obviously everyone's different I'm not a health expert I'm just kind of testing out like what suits my body and what's been working for me but of course it could be different for you but these are some things you might like that might help you as well so I figured I'd just show you quickly okay, so the first thing I did was I went on a daily probiotic finally and I think that a lot of people talk about these and I had tried one in the past I think it kind of scared me it just didn't really suit me um I felt really really bad in it but anyway, I said I'd give it another go this January and I've religiously stuck with it. I've taken this every single day over the last like four weeks and I 100% think it has made a difference. This is already my second box. Um, it's kind of pricey enough. I think it was like 30 something for this box and there's 20. So maybe I might try and find one that's um, a little bit more... Um, better value for the year, but I really like this one and maybe that's why it's good I don't know. I don't really know an awful lot about, about probiotics But I saw this one in, in my local pharmacy and they said it was really good So I went to that. So that's number one that I've been doing and I'm positive. It's making a difference second thing water water and more water I was the worst for drinking water like I I could probably drink maybe like one glass just one glass in the day and think nothing of it last year I just couldn't get into the habit of doing it but this year I've finally I've finally done it and wow it definitely is making a difference as well and don't worry I know plastic but this bottle is like a liter and a half and I actually just refill it all the time so I don't buy a new one every day I just refill this we have a water filter upstairs in our building which is really nice water so I fill it there but I do want to find um a good reusable bottle it's actually on my to-do list so if you know of any good bottles that are big like I want like a big one that I can just fill kind of once in the day so like 1.5 liter 2 liter let me know in the comments and I'll definitely get it. Number three, and this is actually proof that I've been doing this because it's the last one. This was full at the start of the month. So basically before I would have coffee first thing every single morning before I had my breakfast, before I even like started thinking, I would just like go to the coffee machine and make my coffee. And by like nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, the jean, like the button on my jeans will be like, bursting like my stomach would have expanded so much so finally I kind of like made the change like I don't know what took me so long but now in the morning my routine is I get up I have my probiotic first thing and then I have that 30 minutes before I have my breakfast so say I get up at six I have my probiotic then I'll have my breakfast at half six and then right after I have my breakfast I'll have a cup of green tea and the one that I like is green tea with lemon and you can get them like everywhere but I love that one then I have my green tea and my stomach will feel so flat and like I, that sounds a bit weird but like it really will and it will stay that way and then I'll have my coffee around 10 or 11 and it's only a small change I've made but I, again I think that mixed in with the water and the probiotic and just the routine has like transformed the way my stomach is in the middle of the day that really just kind of like overall healthier eating and cooking more at home I think has played such a big difference too and I know everyone says that um but like we would eat out a lot last year like really a lot like definitely two three times a week every week sometimes more um a couple of times a day at the weekend like it was just not good and like within those foods are hidden sugars and salts and butter and like dairy and things that just mightn't agree with you so when you cook more at home at least you're like more in control and I, that has been again a big difference and then just kind of tying in with that this definitely isn't for everyone and I'm not telling you you're supposed to do this but for me dairy has been an issue and I cut it out fully in January and again I know I keep saying this but huge huge difference as well and if I'm back in Ireland I can eat cheese all day long <laughs> I can eat regular I can drink regular milk I can eat all the dairy but in the US it just does not agree with me so I've gotten like other cheese alternatives and I'm still trying to find like the best one and 
yeah i'll keep you updated on that i'm still kind of on the search for like the ones i really love but i drink almond milk instead of regular milk tommy always still has the regular milk but i'm on almond or i do oat as well sometimes and then there's loads of different cheese options you can get so this is like an almond style um almond mozzarella style shreds so it's actually really nice wouldn't even notice the difference and I don't really drink, I don't really eat much butter, so that never really bothers me. And I'm not really like a cream person and stuff, but the milk and the cheese. And oh, yogurts. I do, um, I don't have any left, but I get some dairy-free, like alternative yogurts as well. So that's the last tip. So kind of a random chat at the end of the video, but I figured I'd just pop it in because I'm just about to head to a class. And I kind of just thought to myself, well, okay, I have actually noticed a difference in just a month from implementing these things so i figured i'd quickly share if you have any questions just leave them down below and i can kind of go into like more detail as well about this stuff um in another video this was like a little bit rushed but we can expand on it definitely so yeah hopefully you find that helpful i will leave this video here now though because i have to rush to rumble what time is it i'm definitely late okay it's quarter past five i have to go um so i'll leave this video here but i hope you enjoyed the next one will be our ski trip i'm gonna vlog as much as i can from that so hopefully you'll get to see what we get up to there and yeah thank you so so much for watching have a lovely weekend or hope you've had a lovely weekend if it's your if you're just watching us on sunday night and i will see you in the next video bye